Designing a PCB that uses high frequency signals? When you're working with delicate signals, it's important to have a target trace impedance to preserve signal integrity. If you're looking for trace considerations for current, check out our video on trace width. When high frequency signals travel along a trace, they encounter interference from the electromagnetic field created around their own trace, as well as the electric field from nearby conductors. These are known as inductive reactants and capacitive reactants. These reactances, combined with trace resistance, impede the transmission of the signal, hence the term impedance. Impedance is calculated using the following. The width and thickness of the trace, the height and dielectric constant of the substrate, and the distance between coupled traces. But different board types and trace configurations require different complex formulas. Let DigiKey lend a hand. Visit digikey.com slash trace impedance calc, select the board type that matches yours, plug your measurements in, and the calculator will do all the busy work for you. Want to watch more videos like this? Like and subscribe.